everybody, you're very, very welcome here to Oscott on behalf of the rector or the staff or the students. I'd like to welcome you all. Perhaps I should really say welcome back. It's just been really so much fun to be involved in this project and really work with so many children and just hear about how the story of Augustus Pugin can really inspire people. I'm actually Augustus Pugin. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my legacy, if I may, and about my life. To be able to share the story of someone who faced time and time and time again really difficult hardships but kept overcoming and really did something with his life and really achieved can really inspire children to do the same. Tell me about the place you were born. I was born in a, an area of Birmingham called Hockley. And I was inspired how, like all the patterns. Dylan was so creative that he took some of Hugin's ideas and adapted them and added his own style and this is brilliant. Well it's like has hands going up. And then this joins up to create a cross up to the sun. The children kind of captured the stories with kind of photos and with interviews, um, but they also then kind of recorded that in their own way with kind of uh, music, with kind of drawings and with drama. He was very ill. The doctor thought the library would make him feel better. There's been so much kind of great music and stuff that's come out of different schools. All right, so these guys are the awesome superstars. two highlights of my visit today. One is standing here in this amazing chapel um, and the other is just seeing the sheer enjoyment and enthusiasm of the children from the four schools. Well I was very struck by how they have taken on the legacy particularly of his personal life, the death of his two wives, his poisoning by mercury. They seem to have really latched onto the things that they could see as human issues that this great architect had. I really liked the ways that the children chose different methods to tell the stories. So that was really nice to see them using creativity in that way to look at heritage. One, two, three, four. There was a guy long ago 